in previous versions of OpenBridge Modeler, the beams had to be placed in such a way that they were entirely covered by the deck. What I mean by that is the top flange had to be uh, entirely within the limits of the deck, similar to what we see here. But in this example, we actually have a uh, bridge that I've modeled uh, in two separate stages. And the way I've done that is added two separate structures here, one for stage two, the other for stage three. So if I turn off uh, stage three, you can see uh, what we have here for the stage two structure. And we see that we have a, a couple span structure, straight bridge on a curved alignment. Uh, but the key takeaway here is that you'll notice that the beams uh, here in version 10.08 can now uh, be just partially covered uh, by the deck as opposed to having to be fully covered in previous versions. So nothing special you really need to do um, to take advantage of this. Uh, it's just no longer a, a limitation that you'll run into uh, when you go through the uh, process of doing the beam layout and placing the beams on your structure.